It became so bright that it just almost went through the wall. It was just lighting up the whole room. The next thing I know, Tom's gone. And I Brothers Thomas the and Matthew had their first experience with extraterrestrial life in 1966. Since then, the Reed family has had three alien encounters, the most recent one in 2009. The stories are part of Discovery Canada's breakthrough series, Alien Mysteries, premiering Sunday night. Thomas Reed joins us this morning along with the show's executive producer, Karen McCarley. It's good to have you both here. Thank you. That was riveting. Thomas, a a tell me about these encounters and why you think your family has been visited so many times. Well, for us to really answer that uh, truthfully, I really wouldn't know, except that we had a, an 80-acre horse farm on, in Sheffield, Massachusetts, and over about a three-year span, we we had seen, and, uh, and so did neighbors and, and others in the area, uh, these crafts land on our property. It's, I know how that sounds, but it's, it, it happened. It, it was not just witnessed by neighbors, it was witnessed by the children, and they sketched these drawings in school or fourth grade classroom, where I also sketched one myself, but ours was a lot different because it actually happened to us. And so, uh, with that said, uh, it seems to be some biological tie to our family. Um, my mother was involved, my grandmother Marion, uh, my brother Matthew and I, and uh, it, it was so well documented back then because my mother had a restaurant yeah. in town so people would come in and talk to her about it. Mm -hmm. That uh, later on um, in the 1980s my father actually ran for office and there was so much to this that it was actually mentioned at the United Nations on October 2nd, 1992. So when this happened with my brother, as bizarre as it was 30 years later, it really fueled a lot of people to look into our case and when you see that connection now you, you obviously have to ask the questions. You know, what what is it with your family? Yeah, what is that? And I right? don't really know. I wish I could tell you that, but um, there was such a span in between. For but people listening at home, and, and you know, of course, you told your story many, many times. People that must think it's, it's, it, but it's completely. People think of, this is the stuff of Hollywood. This is the stuff of right. you know movies. This doesn't happen to real people. Well, it, it might happen more than people think, and. Um, and, and just to, to, to comment, um, our, our case had radiation readings, magnetic fields that would spin a compass, uh, multiple witnesses, we've taken lie detector tests, uh, we've had doctor's reports, um, we have an attorney right now who's actually taking our information to a court to have it ruled on to be authenticated. If, if that happens, uh, this case will probably be one of the first ever to have stood up in a court of law. There's that much evidence to it. Now, it would have to be an unbiased jury, I would think, because of the topic, and I yeah. think that's where we've come into to some issues. Well, and Karen, I mean, this is one story of many that you have found. Tell us about the show and, and these interesting stories which almost seem too unbelievably, I don't know, out there to mm -hmm. be true. Well, it's a show that spans a variety of different story types. Tom and Matthew's story is extremely personal. It spans multi-generations, multiple decades, and has, as Tom mentioned, hard scientific evidence to back up what they're talking about. And that's really what we try to explore on this series. We look for stories that have tangible evidence, really personal stories, and then we pull in scientists to talk about the possibility and plausibility of these types of events happening. And it's a kind of show that I think will just open viewers' minds to the possibility of what might be out there. We don't try and answer the questions. We don't try and prove or disprove. We're just telling personal stories. We have scientific experts to speak to the experiences. And we let the viewers just go along for the ride. And, and just looking at the clip there, the technology that's used in this is so interesting to bring uh, these stories to life. Tell me a little bit about what was used. Well, we use the magic of green screen technology. So, for example, in the clip that you're looking at right now, where Thomas is standing inside a spacecraft, that's actually a green studio. That's all green walls surrounding him. So he's doing a, a turnaround in a studio and looking at nothing but green walls. Hollywood uses this technology all the time, and it's used in such a fantastically um, uh, 
this flawless, uh, seamless fashion now that you don't even know that uh, these that you're looking at something that's a, a virtual environment. Of course, the aliens are computer generated, and a lot of the spacecraft is pure CGI. But we really use top of the line computer generated imagery and green screen technology to bring the show to life. Technology that you only really find in movies that we're bringing to the TV screen. It's just amazing. Thank you so much to you both for being here. I okay. appreciate it. And the two hour premiere of Alien Mysteries airs Sunday night at 8, only on Discovery. Visit discovery.ca for more information.